What's up guys, this is a video response for a pixel ghost trick. He recently created a video titled El Tag de Miedo. Uh, in this video, he answered a series of questions. And in this video, he tagged my channel along with two other channels. So this is my response video for him. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, go through the questions. Uh, question number one, what's your favorite scary movie? Uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> Uh, I would have to say that would either be uh, John Carpenter's The Thing or uh, Trick or Treat. That's a good one, too. Uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, okay, question two. Uh, what is your worst nightmare? I would say uh, drowning. I guess I've had a fear of drowning ever since I was really young. Uh, where I had a close call as a, as a child when I was learning how to swim. I've learned how to swim since then, but uh, that fear never really went away. Do you believe in ghosts? I'm gonna say maybe. I would say I've had maybe one encounter where I felt like I maybe saw one. Uh, I'm gonna delve into that because it's one of the later questions actually. What are you afraid of? I'd say a big fear is uh, not getting anywhere in life, getting stuck where you are and becoming complacent, not advancing, not having goals, um, not striving to grow is something I'd be afraid of, is, is being stuck. I think as we get older, uh, all of us should grow as individuals and uh, gain more knowledge over time. And the idea of, uh, for example, getting stuck in a job that doesn't really, uh, being stuck in a job that's not rewarding uh, can be fearful in a way, you know, you become complacent, you don't want to try anymore, and you settle, uh, that, that'd be a fear of mine. Do you believe in the supernatural? I guess that's somewhat similar to ghosts, uh, I'm gonna lean towards no, the supernatural as a whole, uh, yeah, I don't think so. What has been your worst horror movie trauma? So this one's pretty interesting, um, back when I was really young, maybe five or six, maybe younger, uh, my parents used to record uh, cartoons for me on old VHS tapes. You know, Looney Tunes, The Simpsons, whatever they can, you know, whatever they saw, they would just record for me. One day, they didn't tape over a cassette all the way. It had a clip from the movie Puppet Master, the Puppet Master movie from 1989. There's a scene in that movie uh, where one of the puppets has a leech come out of her mouth and it falls into the mouth of the, her victim. You can kind of imagine transitioning from Looney Tunes, it was Bugs Bunny, to a puppet dropping leeches into someone's mouth. I would say that that was my worst horror movie trauma, uh, but at the same time it also was the reason I became so fascinated with horror movies. Uh, so now I, I, I'm a big horror movie fan. I have a really good, decent sized collection. Uh, I hope to show you guys that collection one day. Do I like creepy pastas? Um, there's <laughs> the one for the original Pokemon game. Uh, there's a creepy pasta about the first Pokemon game and the Lavender Town theme. Uh, that creepy pasta was something along the lines of uh, the original version of this song gave children suicidal tendencies. That's obviously not true, um, but it's interesting and it's it's fun in a, in a dark way. Do I believe in bad luck? No, I don't. Uh, I feel like everything just happens. Which urban legend scares you the most? Uh, I would say that would have to be the story of Slaughterhouse Canyon. Uh, it's, it's also called uh, Luanas Canyon. Uh, this one takes place during the gold rush, uh, during the 1800s. Uh, see, there was a family who lived down in the canyon, and uh, they were really poor. The father would go out and get food for his family. Uh, one day, the father didn't return. Uh, so the, uh, the family started to starve and descend into madness. Uh, the mother, uh, not being able to tolerate her children's cries anymore, put on her wedding dress and murdered her children, and then she threw herself into a river. So they say that if you go down to Slaughterhouse Canyon at night, uh, you'll hear the sound 
of anguished cries of the mother who lost your mind. Um, <laughs> that would have to be uh, the urban legend that scares me the most. Do I prefer vampires or werewolves? I'm going to say vampires. Would you enter a haunted house? I would say yes, but the first sign of a... Uh, the, the first sign of something weird going down, I would I would leave in a second. Have you ever had a supernatural experience? Uh, one night I woke up and uh, something was floating in front of me. Uh, what appeared to be uh, almost like a like an infant, an infant floating towards me, and it was transparent. I only saw it for a second scared the hell out of me. I'd say that was the only uh, supernatural experience I ever had, which kind of ties back into the whether I believe in ghosts or not. Uh, what was your scariest experience you've had? I would say uh, late one night I went to a friend's house in a town I was not familiar with, uh, several hours away from home. I wound up staying there until like the really, really late AM hours. It was around three in the morning. I was leaving my friend's place and my phone was low on battery and I thought to myself, okay, I have a, a charger, you know, to plug into the cigarette uh, lighter. So I wasn't really worried about my phone dying on me. But then the charger broke and because of that, my phone died and I lost the map. I lost my sense of direction. I drove around aimlessly in a sketchy neighborhood. Eventually, I started to run low on gas. I kept driving hoping to find a gas station. Eventually, I gave up look on looking for the gas station. So my phone was dead, I was low on gas. My sense of direction was so screwed up at the time that I couldn't remember whether I came from the north or the south on the highway. Eventually, I decided to just drive in one direction. So I kept driving and driving until I finally found a highway. It was a 50% chance, north or south. I ended up taking north. So I drove north uh, for hours, hoping that I would eventually recognize where I was going. Thankfully, I, I happened to guess right. And I, and I finally reached the city that I was familiar with, and I put gas in my car. In the end, I got home safely, but it was a really scary experience for me, not knowing if I was driving in the right direction, whether I was going even farther away from home. Knowing that I couldn't reach anybody was really, really scary. Do I have a phobia? Um, spiders make me uncomfortable? I can't really think of much else. If I were a horror movie killer, how would I kill my victims? I've always been a fan of uh, just that. <laughs> I've always been a fan of the classic axe to the face. <laughs> Have I ever seen someone die? I'm very fortunate to say I've never seen someone die. What was my first fear? Um, like most people, including Pixel. I'd say the darkness. It's a very common fear among children. So I want to thank Pixel Ghost Trick for tagging me and for being such an awesome guy. I'm going to include a link to his channel in the description down below. Definitely check him out. And thank you so much for watching.